Yeah, man! Hello! My name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you broccoli coconut stew. At the end of the day, you're gonna need two cups of broccoli florets, one carrot, half scotch bonnet pepper or quarter shredded red pepper, stock, scallion optional or you can use shy if you know an onion a medium sized onion rosemary a teaspoon of grinded rosemary a tablespoon parsley tablespoon basil you can use any of these herbs fresh chop it fine though marjoram teaspoon marjoram oregano quarter teaspoon oregano and quarter teaspoon dried pimento berries or you can use peppercorn a teaspoon of salt a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar or you can use wine vinegar tablespoon between two coconut oil a cup of coconut milk visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe start by gathering the ingredients grind rosemary fine about half teaspoon you can use half teaspoon between a teaspoon of grinded rosemary like I said I'm not cooking plenty today so visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe measure and add a tablespoon parsley and for this recipe we're using a cup, two cups of broccoli florets. Now I'm adding basil, a tablespoon of basil. If that wasn't basil, that was marjoram. I'm not sure, but you need a teaspoon of marjoram. Oregano, quarter teaspoon of oregano. Oh, that was basil, so that was a tablespoon of basil earlier. Now marjoram, a teaspoon of marjoram, marjoram, keep herbs together. Separate from spices, measure and add teaspoon of salt. I use sea salt. Keep ingredients separate. I have scotch bonnet pepper. Put this aside for later. Now Remove scallions, dying leaves, cut off ends, cut off the root end and the tip of the leaf that's dying. I like to cut the onion in half, it's easier to handle. Remove the brown leaf. The first layer of the onion is the strongest, however, Remove it if it's spoiling. This onion is on its last days. And next, cut broccoli florets. 
try and keep the stem try and keep as much stem right, try and keep most of the broccoli's stem and for this meal it's best if you kind of make small florets I'm keeping the florets a little bit big today but for presentation but you make the florets a little bit smaller card I'm about to scrape it some people say you're scraping off the best part of the card so be it just wash it properly and rub this this, this surface or the skin of the carrot on the fresh running water then you can use it if not do as you see me doing and lightly scrape the surface of the carrot cut off ends you can add quarter teaspoon shredded red pepper instead of scotch butter get a bowl add enough water in it drizzle or sprinkle about a tablespoon between two of distilled white vinegar now wash vegetables properly carrot first wash up put it aside and the onion this onion is kind of mucky so I'm washing the onion next wash look between the broccoli's florets and stem for worm and just kind of wash or dirt and wash the broccoli florets properly now use your finger rub the scallions leaf clean remove this water next give your vegetables a final rinse it's best if you do this part on the fresh running water visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe and you should get my book vegan dinners next slice dice and chop vegetables starting with the scallion dice scallion fine do as you see me doing I forgot to say you're gonna need four garlic cloves for this recipe peel your garlic cut off ends trim spoilage grind garlic to puree keep vegetables separate Slice onions one eighth of an inch.
Now cut carrot sticks. Do as you see me doing. I like to kind of just cut the carrot in half, then cut that in half. That way it's easier to handle. That way the flat part can go on the chopping board and it's easier to cut. So do as you see me doing and cut carrot sticks. If you don't want to do this, you can always cut 1 16th of an inch, no, 1 8th of an inch carrot wheels, I call them. Keep vegetables separate and together. the idea that's what you want put these aside for later keep them covered in the in the meantime now this is our coconut milk I'm using coconut milk from the can remember now at the end of the day you want two cups of broccoli florets for this recipe Now we're going to get our coconut milk measured and ready. If you're using coconut milk from the can, shake the can well. And measure and put aside one cup coconut milk. Next, put to heat a saucepan. I'm using a medium sized saucepan. Do as you see me doing, use a paper towel and dry the inside of the saucepan, dry. Now, oops, you saw that? My stove is getting old. All right, put the stove gauge on low. Add, put the saucepan to eat. Add spices. The sauce into the saucepan. Be sure the stove gauge is on low, almost off low. Add two tablespoons of cooking oil. I use coconut oil. By keeping the stove gauge on low, it reduces, eliminates the risk of the berries bursting. After five minutes, with the stove gauges on low, remove the berries from the eating oil. Now would be a good time to turn the stove up on four, medium low. Yes, four. Add sliced onions to the eating oil. Stir it in a few times, allow to saute. tablespoon earlier I didn't want to use plenty of oil but you saw all the oil just disappeared I'm gonna add I'm going to add a tablespoon more the recipe did call for two tablespoons add your chopped scallion stir it in a few times allow to saute Five ten seconds later, add the mashed garlic, stir in a few times, allow to saute.
by doing it this way you're adding additional flavors not in a bottle Ten seconds later add coconut milk next add the salt and the herbal a mixture of different herbs is called an herbal do as you see me doing stir it in a few times allow leave the pans laid off the stove gauge is on four medium low just allow it to simmer add your tablespoon of distilled white vinegar stir that in allow after two minutes this is what it looks like the coconut milk is thickening this is what you want you want it to be creamy now would be a good time to add your broccoli florets remember now Cut the florets a little bit smaller than these and just I just keep them big for presentation purpose. Stove gauge is on four medium low. Keep the pans laid off. Now you can add a pepper. What I like to do is clean my work area while I'm waiting for the stew and so forth. While I'm waiting for the stew. About a minute or so. Stir the stew in. been four minutes now now would be a good time to remove the pepper you don't want it to be spicy you don't want this stew to be spicy by keeping the lid off the water evaporates from the coconut milk making this meal creamy once the sauce starts to stick to the pot's bottom it's ready oh yes and if you cut the broccoli a little bit smaller you wouldn't add it at the same time as me you can add the broccoli two between three minutes near the end
now it's been five minutes between six minutes the coconut milk is getting creamy that's what you want Just checked. It's a full five minutes going on to six. This is what it looks like. It's getting creamy. That's what I want. That's what you want. Keep the pan's lid off. If you want, you can always turn the stove up at this point. You know, once it starts to stick. Turn it off. Alright, we're finished. Turn the stove off and throw in and toss in cat sticks. Use the pan's lid, cover the pan until serving. Before serving your meals, stir your pot in, moist up your vegetables, and take a scoop of this lovely broccoli coconut stew with carrot pour it or lay it you can enjoy this meal with rice um, or pasta crackers rolls etc this is broccoli coconut stew visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe subscribe like share you should try cooking this meal yourself. Give us feedback when you do. Broccoli coconut stew with carrot. I'm here to make vegan delicious. Vegan dinners delicious and flavorful. Sorry. You're gonna watch me eat this broccoli coconut stew with spaghetti. I can tell you this much. This meal is flavorful. It's 100% vegan. And to show you how you would eat it, I'm cutting the broccoli in small florets. The broccoli in small florets. I'm gonna stir up, stir it up with my spaghetti. You can use wheat spaghetti, vegetable spaghetti. They have lots of shapes, colors. And types. And this is a true vegan dinner. The coconut, the coconut cream makes this meal flavorful. The herbs blend blends good in this meal you can eat this meal with crackers or rolls rice or pasta right now I am enjoying it with the pasta The broccoli is crunchy. The carrot is sweet and crunchy. Eating this meal, you're getting a true essence of a real dinner.
you're getting a true essence of real dinner. Broccoli is crunchy and not so bitter when it's cooked. Broccoli is not really bitter, not so strong in flavor. And like I said, this meal goes well with pasta. As you see, it, it, it's, it looks good with the spaghetti. And I'm truly enjoying this meal. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. And remember now, get my book, Vegan Dinners. The spiciness is around 25%. You can always cook this meal without pepper. You don't have to use pepper. You could have used cauliflower instead of broccoli. And string beans. If you're using the cauliflower, you can use string beans with it instead of carrot or you can use the string string beans with the carrot all right until next time bye yeah man